What's up guys, this is Jake, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys one of the most advanced e-commerce tracking softwares that I have ever used, and that is going to be Triple Whale. So the Triple Whale platform is an exclusive software specifically for e-commerce stores on Shopify, and it allows you to go ahead and track all of your data in one place and when i say all of your data i mean every single thing so all of your sales from every different source all of your stats and metrics from your advertising stats and metrics from email marketing pretty much every type of metric that you would want to go ahead and track you can track inside of the triple whale dashboard as well as actually being able to attribute your sales to the correct advertising source using the triple whale pixel as well so it's a really advanced software that gives you a lot of information so in this video we're going to be going through what it does and how you can go ahead and set it up and whenever you're running an e-commerce business you're going to want as much information and data as possible especially with a lot of the recent ios updates making facebook ads and things like that a lot harder to track this data is going to be more beneficial than ever so with that said in order to actually get the app on your store you can just head over to triplewhale.com and you'll be brought here to the home page and all you have to do is click on get started and then you'll just go ahead and enter your store information and install the app on your store and once we go ahead and install the app this is where we're going to be brought into so this is going to be the main dashboard for triple whale right here and we can see i went ahead and installed it on a demo store so over here on the left is going to be the menu of all of the different features of triple whale and we're going to be going through all of these in this video but the primary feature is actually going to be the summary page and this is where you're going to get a lot of your information here so we can see here by default it goes ahead and shows us stats and different things from our store so we have stats like net profit ROAS, margin ad spend etc and if you don't know what some of these terms are you can actually scroll over them click the question mark and it will actually tell you exactly what this is so by default here you have a few different sections of stats here that show up so you have the main stats you have stats here from your store so sales orders average order value you have your lifetime value stats right here you have expenses showing here and you have inventory right here as well now this is how it's set up by default however there are a couple of things you can go ahead and do to customize this so for example if you want to pin specific stats up here to the top you can do that by just clicking on the pin right here so if you have specific metrics that you care about seeing first you can go ahead and just pin those to the top and that'll be the first thing you see and then you can even come up here and create your own sections if you want or you can go ahead and customize this entire summary here so we can see that we have a bunch of different sections by default so let's say we didn't want a specific section like inventory for example we could just get rid of that and then let's say we wanted to go ahead and track these different sections right here so we can see there's a bunch of sections here so we can track facebook ads facebook social instagram google snapchat and then a bunch of custom sections right here that triple whale has made for you so let's say you were running facebook and google ads to your store you'd want to go ahead and add in both of those sections right there you can even add in a section if you're using klaviyo for your email marketing and then you can just go ahead and click done and the page will go ahead and be updated so we can see the inventory section isn't here anymore so coming over here now we're going to take a look at what the actual summary page would look like if it was a little bit more populated with some other metrics here so we can see here that inside of this demo store with some other accounts connected that this is what your summary page would look like when everything is properly filled in so jumping back here one of the first things you want to do is come down here to channels and you're going to notice that we have the facebook google analytics klaviyo tiktok snapchat and pinterest channels right here so what you're going to want to go ahead and do is go ahead and click on these and make sure that you connect every single one of these channels that you're using. So most likely you're going to be using a lot of these. At least you're going to be using Facebook, Google Analytics, and likely Klaviyo if you're doing email marketing. But every one of these channels you're using, you want to go ahead and connect. 
and then once you connect them you can come back to the summary page and actually add in the data right here so the next section we're going to jump into is the pixel section and this section is going to be really interesting because this is where we're actually going to get all of our attribution data so this is where we're actually going to be able to attribute specific sales to specific advertising sources and obviously this used to be a lot easier a few years ago but since a lot of the ios changes and third-party tracking getting a lot harder figuring out where your sales are coming from has gotten a lot more difficult but with the triple whale pixel we can go ahead and get accurate data to attribute all of our sales to specific sources. So we're gonna be able to go in here and see all of our different metrics here, such as the campaign, the ad spend, the ROAS, profit, pretty much like you'd see inside of any typical marketing dashboard, except in here, we're going to be able to see every single one of our different advertising sources in one. So instead of having to have open like six different ad managers here, we can go ahead and take a look at at our data from Facebook, Google, TikTok, all in one place. We're going to be able to see which platform is attributing the most sales to our campaigns. We can go ahead and take a look at some interesting things as well, such as channel overlap, so we can see which orders are overlapping between specific channels. We can also take a look at the live orders going on as well. We can go ahead and sort by different things such as the event date we can sort by the attribution model and obviously we can sort by the actual advertising platform itself you can also go in here and customize which columns you actually want to see so if you want to add in different tracking metrics to take a look at you can go ahead and select through a bunch of these different options that you can go ahead and add in so you can completely customize your attribution tracking to track whatever metrics you find is most important for your marketing campaigns so the next thing we can take a look at over here is the activity feed so this is where we can just see different types of activity that happen so if i go ahead and change to the last seven days we're just seeing different activities that happen on the store so in this case in this demo store i just added some products in here so jumping over here to the creative dashboard section we can see here that this is where you're going to be able to go ahead and take a look at all of your different ad creatives here once you've went ahead and synced up your facebook account here and we can go ahead and see all of these metrics here associated with each different individual creative so we'll be able to actually come in here and compare which creatives are doing better or worse and we can sort it by different types of metric so we can see here that there's a lot of detailed information so we can come in here and compare our different ads see what's performing see what's not performing we can go ahead and choose different categories and segments as well so you could have a segment for your cold ads you could have a segment for retargeting you could have a segment for high ad spend as you can see in the examples here and you can go ahead and create your own segments with relative ease just by clicking on the plus icon right there and going ahead and creating a segment right here and you can organize your ad creatives pretty much in any way that you think is going to be the most effective for you so it's going to be up to you depending on how you like to look at your ads so this is going to be a completely personal preference so next we'll go ahead and take a look at some of the customer insights here so if we take a look first at the average order value here we can see here that we can sort it by the last three months last six months or last 12 months and we can see here in this example that the biggest section of our average order value here is coming in between around $80 and $120. And this gives you good insight to see exactly how much your average customer is ordering. And obviously over time, you want to try and push this number up. So this is very useful to be able to track this information here because the higher your AOV, the more you're going to be able to spend on your ads. So this is definitely going to be pretty cool to see. Next, if we take a look at the bundling section, we can see here which products are typically bought together. And this is going to be useful information as well, because if you find that there are specific products that are being bundled together quite often, 
what you might be able to do is go out there and create your own bundle that actually has some sort of discount maybe associated with it and this could be a way to go ahead and increase aov over time if you are taking this insight and going ahead and creating an actual bundle on your store with that information so next up here we have the product journey section and this actually tracks essentially the customer's entire journey on our store so this is going to give us good insight and information to what exactly our customers are doing on our store how are they reacting to specific products etc and with this type of information we can use to go ahead and try and optimize specific products we can choose to push specific products based on this information so there's a lot of insight that can be gained from taking a look at the customer's product journey seeing essentially taking a look at our store through their eyes is what this section is going to be helping us do and then next we have the lifetime value stats here for 60 to 90 days and the main difference between this and the aov is the aov is going to be tracking the average order value on one specific order the ltv is going to be tracking the overall customer lifetime value so say a customer comes to your store and buys something for 50 bucks and then they come back two weeks later and buy another product for 50 bucks, the LTV is actually going to be $100 in total. So this is going to track the LTV for our store over a 60 day period and then over a 90 day period here. So we can see that there's an increase from the AOV to the 60 day LTV to the 90 day LTV. So this essentially is just telling us how often our customers are coming back and making additional purchases. So this is going to help us to see how effective our win back campaigns are for example so our email campaigns trying to get repeat purchases this also gives us insight into how much the customer actually enjoyed the shopping experience and liked the product because if they liked the product and enjoyed the experience they're going to be more likely to come back and buy something else and this also varies a bit depending on what you're selling but this is also very useful to look at as well because the higher your ltv is the more you can spend on marketing Coming down here to tools here, if we click on the forecasting calculator here, we can go ahead and try to forecast different performance metrics from our store by editing any of these numbers right here. So we can see we can edit these numbers and see how it affects the actual store results. So if you wanted to come in here and play around with these different numbers, this is how you can go ahead and forecast different metrics. So this is useful because let's say you currently have like a ROAS of 1.5 and you want to see how profitable the store would be if you were getting a ROAS of 1.75 you could come in here and change your ROAS to that for example or you could see the impact of your store having a conversion rate of say 3% instead of you know maybe it's already maybe it's a 2% so there's a bunch of different things you can do in this calculator here that's going to be really useful coming down here we have the UTM builders this is where you can just go ahead and build custom UTM tracking links for each one of these platforms right here so Facebook Google TikTok etc so this is pretty self-explanatory and easy to use the next thing we have down here is reports so you can go ahead and choose to add a report and send it to yourself so for example if I click add report we can go ahead and give it a name if we want and we can add different metrics in here to the report and then you can come down here and choose which email you want to send the report to and then you can choose how frequently you want this report sent so let's say you have a bunch of team members as well you could go ahead and add multiple recipients so that way everyone would be sent the report on a daily basis for example and you can also connect to slack if you want the report sent through slack instead of email coming down here we have the goals tool here so this is where we can just go ahead and select goals that are going to be based on specific stats so we can go ahead and say maybe we set a sales goal so it says we've done 1400 in sales here but let's say we want to go ahead and do 15,000 in sales in the month of august we can go ahead and save this goal and then if i were to switch this to august here we'll see that it goes ahead and tracks our sales goal right here it tracks our status on it right there so this is pretty cool for keeping track of different types of goals you may have for your store 
And then we have the trend section right here. So this is where we can just keep up with different trends that may be occurring within our store. So whether that's a certain ad platform performing better or worse than it has been historically, this is where you can go ahead and see that right here. Coming down to the store section now, this is where we're just gonna see basic information from our store. So we can see our products here. We'll be able to see our customer list. Once you have customers, you'll be able to see all of your orders here that are imported from Shopify. You'll be able to see your cost of goods right here. So this is showing everything from our Shopify store. We can add in payment gateway costs. So if you're using specific payment gateways, you can go ahead and add in those specific costs here. And then you can also add in fixed expenses or variable expenses in the custom expenses section right here. So if your store has very specific expenses, that are not included in any of the previous sections you can go ahead and add them in here so maybe you could put employee costs or something like that in here if you have specific employees working for your store and any other type of overhead that's not included you can add it in here because that's going to impact your profitability tracking so this is where you're going to want to go ahead and add that and then if we come down to settings here we can see all of the different integrations here that triple well has and then down here with apps and extensions, Triple Whale does have a Chrome extension that you can go ahead and install right here. And then you can go ahead and edit your account information down here. So overall, Triple Whale is a very advanced tracking platform that you can use for your Shopify store. Now, even though it's advanced with a lot of different features and shows a lot of different metrics, it's very easy to use as we have showcased in this video. It integrates with essentially every single platform that you're going to be using for your e-commerce store. So you're going to be getting all of that data in one place. So it's going to make tracking everything a lot easier. So definitely check out Triple Whale by clicking the first link in the, in the description or going to triplewhale.com. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.